Hey guys, Brent Hall, Wednesday video. I got a more of an English European style house today with a turret and I'm trying to dial down some of the McMansion items, but this one's a little bit different. It's not my typical simplify, change, fix the columns, fix the windows, although I am doing that. But there's some traditions here and some ways of playing around with these architectural styles, which is a lot of fun. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Today's design video. When you look at this house and you say, well, what does it want to be? There's a lot of things that are interesting about this one. It's kind of charming. I mean, the turret gives you the sense that it's French or English, certainly European. The Gothic windows, that you've got a lot of Gothic top arches and a lot of Gothic themed things. Obviously, French Gothic, English Gothic. And so we have a European styled house that is a little bit, the thing that's confusing to me is that if I just did this portion, it's like a castle. And if I just did this portion, it's like a cottage. And so, you know, this area over here is real cottagey. This area, you know, if you just split the line right here, you know, this looks like a little cottage over here, but this little, looks a little bit more McMansion-y and just kind of big. And so there's another issue is the materiality, okay? And that means just the materials that they've chosen to express on this house. And so one is we've got brick and then stone. Now, I like the way the stone is laid up, and we'll look at another house where I don't like how it's laid up, but this is at least done in coursing so that, you know, this is this has that one to three, one to two relationship. Things are laying flat. This doesn't look like a flagstone patio necessarily in this thing. Uh, maybe if there's a few more stones that were longer. In general, the stone pattern is good. The weird thing is the brick. Now, if you go back to this architectural history, you wouldn't, or I don't think you, there's a precedent, I'm trying to think right now, of, of building historically in brick and stone like this, because brick was something that you made, stone was something that you quarried, and you wouldn't necessarily really blend them the way that they have here. And so it's a little bit of a disconnect as we, as we look at this thing. And so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to de-emphasize some of the McMansion stuff, try to tie together some of these different details. One of the things that McMansions and new houses continue to do is this, you know, gable, 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 where they've got these split gables. I'm going to combine them because it's just silly. It's a showy thing. The other thing is that they've got these pork chop ends here. And really the tradition is not to build lookouts and, and these ends like this in the stone and English tradition. So I'm going to take the American out of this and kind of turn it into a more of a European thing. You know, this is what I ended up with. And so, you know, you can see that if you look at this entry, right, I have taken off this whole section here, that whole piece, I've, I've kind of deleted it. And I've introduced a lower thing and I've played around. I've got these buttresses down here that kind of support this. I've got a, a turret at the top across the top, right? I have changed the way that looks, okay? I've kept the turret, I've kept this back section. But the other thing I've done is I've played around with how these windows are framed out. And that segmented arch really isn't part of this tradition. And so I've gone with square windows. And essentially what I'm doing is, is in this tradition, the window is would have been framed out in stone, okay? So there would have been a cut stone section like this that these windows would have been set into. Now, on the top ones, I've got arches, so I'm going to do these little, little gothic arches, right, that go up like this. But all of it's going to be inside a stone frame. So you have this, you know, rubble stone wall, and then you have cut stone in here. And I've introduced cut stone and kind of taken away the brick because I don't think the brick is the right material. So, right, I've changed the materials and stone and cut stone and tried to help it out that way. You'll also notice that I've gone with, instead of these, you know, six over six things, I've gone with leaded glass. That would have been more appropriate. I know that this person probably wouldn't want leaded glass everywhere, but I've introduced leaded glass. And really, I, th I just think there's a lot of opportunity with this house, a lot of opportunity that if you understand the building traditions and how windows were put into stone walls, 
the size and scale of the things because you know notice that in that turret these windows are huge right and i've shrunk the turrets down to a much smaller size you really don't have an historic tradition of huge windows in a turret like that so i've shrunk them down same thing back here is I've de-emphasized these windows because this is kind of the, the back carriage house. This is the original barn. And notice I put a dovecote holes up here, which would have been something that they would have, you know, had doves that would fly in here and they collect the manure as a fertilizer. I've changed it to all stone. I even added a, a trifoil window. So again, I've played with that English and French traditions. I've changed the door. I really don't like that door. And a lot of times what happens on these houses is they end up picking materials from the, the modern uh, houses and they someone says, go pick out a door. So they go to the door store and the, the door store is showing the latest doors and the most popular doors at this time and doesn't really necessarily give you a period appropriate door. So I've gone back with a plank door and some strap hinges, something that's a little bit more ancient. So. Anyway, I've de mansionized this as much as I can. I've, I've kind of de-emphasized de and played down this kind of heavy front piece and tried to bring this house back into kind of an architectural styling, gave it a little bit more English, European traditions that I think are more appropriate. Okay guys, what'd you think? Kind of fix that house up. I think de-emphasizing these, you know, big gable ends, right? And kind of introducing new material, right? Getting out the brick, putting it in stone. Now you've got a field stone, hand-hewn stone, along with a cut stone. And so that's certainly much more than the English tradition and the French tradition. Changing materials, de-emphasizing elements, actually building up that entry, right? Really, I've elevated that. Although I haven't elevated with the big gable in, I've elevated with that turreted entry. And so, you know, I'm playing around with the English and French traditions. I'm playing around with that look that's in my head from the 20s and 30s and how that used to look. So let me know what you think. I read all the comments. I'm Brent Hull. Thanks for watching.